Okay. Here's one that's not fluffy. Um, a Finnish web developer and hacker discovered, and I have verified, that several web browsers, which at least include Chrome, Safari, and Opera, but interestingly, not Firefox. Actually, in this case, because Firefox is lagging a little bit in this feature, uh, which uh, now they're glad for, as well as some plugins and utilities, such as LastPass, can be tricked into giving away, as in divulging, a user's personal information through their profile-based autofill, autoform fill systems. And the attack is surprisingly simple. Leo, if you go to the link in the show notes here, this github.io link, um, it'll bring up a tiny little form. You, you do not want to do this on camera. That is, don't, don't, don't submit the form on camera, but view the source because this is trivially simple to do. So the attack is surprisingly simple. When a user begins to fill in information in a web-based form containing just simple text boxes, such as their name and email address, the browser's autofill system, when enabled, um, which is intended to help you to avoid tedious repetition of standard information, such, such as your you know, address and et cetera, but also including credit card information and lots of other stuff, will, will populate other profile-based information into any of the other standard identifiable text boxes based on the uh, text box labels. So this has labels. Hidden, hidden fields. Yes, what that uh, what the view source shows is that in 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 the CSS that scroll down a bit they they set the offset I'm just, to nothing. Fortunately, I don't have any browser based information in there. You see, the all of that stuff is missing in mine. So I'm Correct. wondering if it has to do with you allowing the browser to save that information because I use LastPass for it. Correct. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Okay. And and for for what so what for what where so for me. Firefox doesn't have this autofill faci uh, facility. It's on the it's on the drawing board for them, and hopefully now they'll be aware of this and will take some action. So normally, all of the form fields come up on the screen, but with CSS, you're able to set an absolute offset. So all that page does is set the horizontal position, I think that's what it was, to negative 550 uh, pixels, sh pushing them off the screen to the left so you don't see them. Right. But the browser doesn't check to see whether it's visible or not. So you fill in the first one, which is your name, which is normally it, 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 you know, it, it, it'll give you a drop-down list, and you go, oh, yeah, Leo Laporte. Then without you seeing it, all these other fields are populated. Yeah. And um, it did it for me. That is, under Chrome, I don't use Chrome for much, but it had my full street address. Uh, street, city, state, uh, uh, this is terrible. Uh, country, domain, zip code, everything. And if I were a Chrome user and I had said, yeah, hold on to this other information for me, like credit card number, uh, uh, the uh, CVV, the expiration date, all of that can be captured. And it is a trivial attack. Now, I should also note, the reason I, not only did I not want you to, to if there was anything sensitive for, for users to, to see it, because it just comes right up, but there is a site which, th which this, this github.io page uses to display this. It's a benign site. It's http bin, B -I -N dot org, which is a well-known, very cool, long-standing site which provides an array of tools which echo back browser query parameters. So, for example, if you were doing HTML and you wanted to see what the 
post data was that your browser sent. You could post it to httpbin.org slash post. And what that all that does is it takes the information your browser sent and then sends it back to you in a nice JSON formatted uh, display, which is what you, you put on, on the screen a second ago. But the point is that that is HTTPS colon slash slash httpbin.org, but it is going to a third party site. So, you know, I did verify it works. Uh, there's no reason not to trust these people, but they're getting any information that your browser happens to fill the forms in with. Um, it would be nice if they had a non obfuscated version that is without the minus 550 pixel shift so that you could see for yourself what information was being filled in and that ought to be uh, convincing enough. It's a little more dramatic uh, as it is this way. So uh, maybe one of our listeners will do that because, you know, you can see the source and it would be, it would be trivial to do. So if somebody has, uh, does that and sends me a, uh, a tweet or a link, uh, I'll, I'll share it. But I, You could probably do it just in real time using the uh, developer tools. I bet you I can. Let me just see. Yeah. Um, uh, I wonder if you could see the form populated without sending it somewhere. Well, I, can ch I think I can change. Can I change these numbers? Yeah, I can change these numbers. Um, oh, oh, I see. You mean e edit the, on the, fly. the, the yeah. page text. Yes, yeah, the fly, yes, yes. In order, in order a difficult to, thing to do. It's just in order to bring them back. Painstaking. Because <laughs> there's quite a few of them. So I'll do um, that. You keep on talking. <laughs> OK, so uh, good. Perfect. So uh, again, it it worked for me in Chrome. I, I didn't see anything scary because I've never given Chrome my credit card. Well, number. I note that some of these fields have the designation LastPass. I, I wonder if it calls LastPass uh, to pull that information as well. Or maybe that's just a choice. I, I, it I, it no. doesn't. But LastPass is monitoring the page itself. Ah. So when it sees those form it fields, it in. says, oh, yeah. I'm going to be helpful. So any um, page that has a form could do this to you. Yes. It, I mean, this is really big. This is horrible. Yes. Wow. All right. I've modified yeah. those. Let's see. No, so I mean, oh, yeah. Here you yes. go. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. So, yep. um, so your yep, phone, so, so. your organization... Your address. I move. All I did is take these fields and move them on screen. Right. Uh, they were or, off to be, the left. Li literally right. <laughs> yeah. Little, move them right. Your address. Your postal code. Your city. Here's the credit card or the country. The credit card field. Wow. Wow. It's all there, baby. Yeah, and I mean, and so here's an example of another feature that was uh, put there for convenience, but has been, well, should we say repurposed? I mean, basically, you know, the, the developers didn't consider that they should provide security for invisible or in any way unseen fields. Because so, so in practice, you would go to a site that simply wants your name, you know, you know, create, you know, you're, you're, you're going to add a post to a blog, you, you know, see just, this, you know, Tell but us you your name. Give them e this. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Just trivially. That's horrible. <laughs> it really is. It's shockingly. Um, is simple. there? Is I guess you would go <laughs> into the settings and turn off form fill. Correct. So users can protect themselves from this kind of phishing attack by disabling the autofill system within their browser or their extension settings. So that's oh, the way to do this. That's why it didn't work. I have that disabled already. Ah, yes. I must have been smart in an earlier life. Well, and in when I was using Chrome, and I typed in like S, I'm sure it's on I, by I, default. Yes, but the, but but the next item in the drop down list was autofill settings. Right. So Chrome was like pre pre you know presenting them to me. So it sh it should be easy for a user to to decide. Ah, I don't think I need autofill well, until and we then get. This. You can also go deeper uh, into it and see uh, what information Chrome has. I have autofill turned off, but right. it's been saving stuff. And actually, this is all pretty old stuff. So at, you know what? Chrome the first time says, do you want me to remember forms so yeah. I can fill these in? And right. I'm sure what I said is no, but I didn't say it. Uh, so I'm going to delete all of these addresses so it doesn't by accident. Or maybe just put in innocuous stuff, right? Don't have any credit card info in there, which is good. 
Yeah, that was, I mean, I was like, oh, just, <laughs> wow. Oh, wait a minute. I do have credit card. If, holy cow. <laughs> holy moly. Okay, we should probably take all that stuff out, right? Holy moly. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Golly. So turn off autofill and maybe as a second uh, level of defense, remove all that form information if it's stored there. Yeah. 